And that is what the fox says. And now, on to our weekly science section with Haley and Allison. Ladies. I know the CIA would say, what you hear is all hearsay. Wish someone would tell me what was right. Thank you, John. Today's lesson is particularly exciting. As we know, the cold has begun to set in and winter has basically arrived. Some of us are happier about this development than others. Oh, Haley, everyone okay, loves Today we're learning about the seasons. What causes our four seasons? For the answer, Haley is going to give a demonstration. This is our sun. Our, our Earth rotates around the sun like this, but it's not in a perfect circle, as one would have you believe. It's actually more of an ellipsis shape, which is a long oval. Because of this, at one point of the year, we're actually closer to the sun than at the other point of the year where we're farther away. Oh, so that means when the Earth is far away, it's winter, and when it's closer, it's summer. Good guess. In fact, many believe this to be the case, but it's actually not true. The Earth is closest to the sun in the month of December, and you also have to take into account the southern hemisphere, which has opposite seasons. Oh, okay, I get it. So what does cause the seasons if it isn't about how close you are to the sun? Well, you see, the Earth is not actually tilted straight up and down like this. It is actually tilted at an axis of about like 23 degrees. So when the Earth is closer to the sun in December, <clears throat> the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, which means that the southern hemisphere is tilted towards it. So the southern hemisphere gets more sunlight and the northern hemisphere gets less. This causes winter in the north and summer in the south. As the Earth rotates, around the sun, at the end, we end up being farther away physically, but our planet is tilted towards the sun in the north and away in the south, making winter in the south and summer in the north. This is also why winters in the north are worse than winters in the south, and summers in the south are hotter than summers in the north. Wow, that's really interesting, but it makes me wonder, what, is, what would life be like if we were tilted on a different axis. I think we should check out some other planets and see what seasons they have. Sounds awesome. See you later. Uh, so, <clears throat> we're on the back side of uh, Uranus right now. Uh, and it's really cold. Uh, it's tilted at a crazy 98 degrees. So one side is always really cold. The other side I would assume is really nice and warm and sunny. Uh, let's see how Allison is doing. Oh man, it's so nice here on the front side of Uranus. It's about 8,000 degrees. It takes 84 years for Uranus to go around the sun. That means it's 42 years for summer and 42 years for winter. So this is how it should normally go around, but Uranus goes around like this. So one side is facing the sun while the other side not facing the sun. Why am I on the cold side? What? I think my radio is going out. <laughs> I think I'm going to go, go work on my suntan. Forget this. I'm going to Mercury. Yeah. Boy, it's hot here. Well, yeah, we're only like 36 million miles away from the sun. And it's so boring. Well, what's the axial tilt? It's actually zero degrees. Well, then there are no seasons. Hot and terrible all the time. Because the axis is just straight up and down. It just... Every part of it gets equal amount of sunlight. And there's no one part that gets any different. So there are no seasons on Mercury. Let's get out of here. Sounds good. Well, that was a fun little adventure we went on. Yeah, sure was. Now we can understand why we have the seasons that we have and why other planets have the seasons they have. Exactly. Now, I think this has been a really exciting lesson, but uh, I'm going to go home where it's not cold. So, back to you, John. <laughs> now, wasn't that informative? Tune in next week when we talk about our new feline overlords.
you. Oh man, it's so hot over here. Do you know that, oh gosh, restart. <laughs> okay.